All right, today is 2013 Lincoln MKZ. We're going to install part number C12091 from Kurt. This is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on the car. Next, we'll give you some measurements that will help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a cargo carrier or a bicycle rack. From the center of a hitch pin opening to the very edge of a bumper is about 6 and 3 eighths inches. And from the top of a receiver opening down to the ground will be about 10 and a half inches. Now we'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. First thing we need to do is go ahead and remove the lower body fascia. There'll be six screws in the bottom edge of a bumper cover. And there'll be four on the inside we have to remove. Now we're also going to remove four plastic clips. Sometimes it helps take these clips off to have the plastic loosen up a little bit more. It makes it easier to remove the fascia. Now this fascia piece will not be reinstalled since the hitch takes up too much room. Once the fascia is removed, we'll go ahead and reinstall the plastic fasteners. Next we'll go ahead and show you where the hitch mounts up. There's two holes on each side of the frame that the hitch hardware will go into. Now before we install our hardware, we'll go ahead and show you how it works with the hitch while the hitch is off. One of the carriage bolts and the blocks will be fish wired from the outside to the inside. And then, when the hitch is in place, there'll be a flange nut on the very bottom. Now this hardware will be the same going all the way around the hitch. So now we'll go ahead and install our hardware first. We'll take our bolt leader, which comes with the kit, and run through the hole we're going to use, and then out our access hole, which will be located off to the side. Okay, we'll thread in our block, and then we'll go ahead and push it into the frame. Next, we'll thread on our bolt and push it in as well, and then slowly pull out the hole we're going to use. Repeat the same process for our next hole. We're done for passenger side, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process over on our driver's side. Okay, our hardware is installed. Now we can go ahead and put the hitch in position. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help hold the hitch while I install the flange nuts in the bottom. So we'll slowly push the hitch up, make sure we don't push the bolts into the frame, and then loosely install the flange nuts. Now we'll go ahead and snug down the bolts. At this point, you may want to take a step back and make sure that the hitch is centered before you tighten it down for good. Once you're satisfied with the placement, we'll go ahead and torque down the bolts as specified in the instructions. With that, they'll finish it for our install, part number C12091 from Kurt, our 2013 Lincoln MKZ.